not readable sir this is not readable this is what you're telling a Canadian citizen that this is not readable can I have your badge number and your name please police don't carry badge number what's your name sir I am constable Lee constable Lee okay oh, guys all yeah, right constable Lee is saying that my vehicle yeah, oh, right here can he cannot see this constable Lee right here constable Lee and you're gonna impound my vehicle because you cannot see this all right, sir. Here he is, guys, right here. And he's saying this is not visible. Constable Lee is saying this is not visible right here. Constable Lee right here is saying this is not visible. Right here. So this is not visible, even though your officer just let me go right there. I can even see the officer. He just let me go. You're going to impound my vehicle. He's saying this is not visible, guys. Right here. Come on, bro. Here, take the key and impound the vehicle, constable. Yeah, I want you guys to see what's happening. What's my infraction? There is no infraction. He's impounding my vehicle because this is not visible and this is not visible. Right here. Right here. Tell me what finish, yeah? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You see what he says is not visible? This is not visible? Better you just come with something different, man. Come, you're, you're breaking the law. You are breaking the law. This is not the law. You're breaking the law. And you want to impound the vehicle and break the law. Come on, man. That's wrong, man. It's better you just ask me for a thing and done. This is, is not visible. This is not visible. What's the infraction? There is no infraction. Can you imagine? He wants to impound the vehicle because he says this is not visible and that's not visible. Come on, man. Come on, man. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. This car has insurance, everything. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in you. You know why I'm disappointed in you? I explained to you that your fellow officer stopped me right there at the intersection and let me go after we spoke. You now stop me and tell me that this is not visible and this is not visible right here this is not visible this officer right here come on man why are you gonna make a scene it's friday just ask me for some money and done you know what i mean come on i don't even live here bro broski i don't live in jamaica i just came here to visit this guy wants to take the car and look what he says is not visible that sticker right there he says it's not visible and my license plate cover is not visible come on that's why you want to take my car because of this come on man that's wrong man you're wrong for that. His officer just stopped me at the intersection and let me go. He ride me down because he saw expensive car thinking I'm rich. Come on, man. You're wrong, man. You're wrong. Yeah, look why he's pounding my vehicle. He says this is not visible and this is not visible. Your officer just stopped me right there. So give me a ticket. Why are you impounding my vehicle? Okay, all right. Cool. You want to take the vehicle? Go ahead, take it. Yeah. Can I have my ticket, please? Can I have my documents and my ticket? That's fine. Now you want to follow the rules. After you just done break broke all the rules. Yeah, it's okay. Why would you impound the car? I should get a ticket. There's no. What's the major infraction for you to be taking the vehicle? It's not tickets. It's tickets. Tickets for what? More than one. What ticket? What is the infraction for? The sticker that everybody can see, even a blind person, the plate cover, that is a clear plate cover, you're illegally taking my vehicle. Come on, bro. I want to make sure you go viral for this one, man. Yeah, right here. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Why would you take a car like that? Give me a ticket. Let me go over my business. I'm not a criminal. You know what I mean? There's so much criminals here. You, should, you could be spending your time with. You know? Come on, man. I'm disappointed that you're breaking the rules. Yeah, but I know I can't win you. It's okay. It's okay. You win, man. You win. You win. You got me. You ruined my trip to Jamaica.
You ruined it. Thank you. You ruined it. Look, his is tinted and not stopping him. It's not visible. Look, come on, man. Look at the, look at the, the man's car he just took away. For what reason, I don't know. You know what I mean? Give me a ticket, let me go. You're going to take the car. So just come talk to me then, bro. We're a man. I'm going to take your car. Come on. I literally just got stopped right there. I'm going to walk back to the officer. Okay. You know? Come on, walk back to the officer. Yeah, because he's going to say he let me go. And then I'm going to have evidence that not only did he let me go and tell me, okay, this is the only issue. Half a second later, you stop me. Yeah. You see, we have evidence it's a regular thing for you. You can't even put this car in a record. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are you guys doing? This is not even how you lift this car. You guys gonna destroy the car? Come on, man. For this? This is not visible, my nigga. Come on, man. Sir, sir, just hold on and get control of yourself. I am control. I'm disappointed, man. Sir, you're going to control. A lost document fee? Right. At Elliston Road? Right. But I don't think I lost anything. No, man. That's the name of the document. Okay. That's the name of the fee you will purchase at the tax office. And then now, you will come to Elliston Road to have um, a replacement fee there for you. Then you, you can go to the tax office and purchase a new license. A replacement license deck because that one is not expired. A replacement license deck? Yes, right. Is that the, you're talking about the sticker? Yes, sir. Why do I need a new sticker if that one is that not one is not readable? Though. That one is not readable? Right. And I will have explained that to you. And what about my car? Where is it going? 27 Lindos. 27 Lindos, right? Yes, so how much it costs to get it off? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't even know what you just said a while ago. Alright guys, so this happened today. This happened on um, where is this? Uh, Egley Park. Right there at the intersection, just after you pass with the Portmore buses by York Plaza. Right? February 9th, Friday, February 9th. Um, it was like just after one. I really don't know why I decided to go to the officer. I wasn't thinking. I got stopped by a police officer, last name Thomas, right by the NCB. He was cool. He understood. Um, I told him that's how I got the car with the, with the front windshield tinted all the way down. Because apparently half the car is supposed to be, half the front windshield could be tinted. Then this officer, as I'm driving to... I, I don't even reach the stoplight where the Portmore bus is. I don't even reach there yet. He comes out the middle of the road, but I'm thinking it couldn't be me he's stopping because Officer Thomas already stopped me and let me go. Right? So why would they be stopping me twice at the same spot? That's that's weird, right? So um anyways, I keep driving, so I'm going down, I'm right by the Bryant um wholesale right there. By the big church, Bryant wholesale is a Bryant wholesale there and a, and a, and a barber shop in the corner. This guy rides on the driver's side, riding me down. So I open the window. I pull over. I was already on the, the left.